this is definitely something to yeah keep an open mind this is something to not dive dark into the despair of the chaotic underworld or the things that are going are happening to us at the moment i know it's easier said than done but i i've been feeling a lot of energies happening within your spirit and so it just it's just one of those things um I'm going to put these back. You know what? No, I can't spare it. So I did see this soulmate. So a lot of you are either into connections um, and just kind of, you know, relationship is in the back burner at the moment. Um, this is where I really do feel spirit is saying stay optimistic because I feel there is a diving into the despair um, there's a lot of healing of codependency here. I feel, of course, this requires trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. So this space is really for you. Now, those in connections, obviously, this is a, um, an energy of conversations, I feel, to explain the emotions. It doesn't mean you don't, again, I, I don't feel a lot of you. It doesn't mean for those in relationships, it doesn't mean you're not about your person. It, there, there are just things that, um, inspiration that you're lacking here in this card, which I feel is really the important message. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. And so there's like an uninspired energy where you're trying to find your joy in what's happening. And so that's where the optimism comes in and the trust, right? And then all the healing for a lot of you, um, and we all suffer codependent, so this isn't even a negative thing. It's just finding our way. And I feel this is just another resurrection of probably even something you've already processed in the past. Um, Pisces, you know, I feel those of you, especially after the Mercury retrograde, conversations are going to go well in terms of your partner for them to kind of understand where your mind space has been um, and where you've been kind of troubled at. So let's see what the soul guidance is here of what's been transitioning here. What is the soul guidance for Pisces spirit? Thank you. You know, a lot of that alone time definitely served a purpose. One more on the soul guidance for Pisces. And it will continue to serve a purpose too. I truly feel that strongly. And that guidance. Whoa. Okay, so I'm going to take them all only because the energies are are powerful. So channeling, you have the ability to convey messages from spirit. This is an achieved with a quiet mind, removing expectations and an openness to receive. This is definitely Empress energy and also the optimism. So don't allow yourself to dive into some level of darkness here. Um, of course, Empress energy here with the self-care practice unconditional love right now showing love to yourself and others promotes healthy relationships criticism of others may be a reflection of what you may need to heal now some of you who probably been avoiding your person or maybe even that conversations went wacky during mercury retrograde has definitely brought in some emotions and criticism so definitely there's the healing aspect that also probably brings up some of like attachment issues here next card is liberation and this really is i just feel this is a next level in in the collective i'm reading and picking up this is next level soul grown for sure break the chains of addiction restrictions or other impediments it begins with freedom of choice and knowing like you're definitely breaking again codependent beliefs i feel for a lot of you oh guys my nose Heightened awareness. You are intuitively sensing something is shifting beneath the surface and you are right. Yes, all of this is happening beneath the surface. I know it's not easy to pinpoint or sometimes even easy to explain. It's just something you know, Pisces, that you intuitively are experiencing, going through and shifting the void. That is that quiet space, um, which is also the same thing. Like just let it like beneath the surface. That's the same thing, this void to me. There's a gap in time, space, or other perception during which things are working beneath the surface. Again, spirit is speaking about beneath the surface. Let it be. And again, it's one of those things you kind of just have to let it be. 
healing light imagine yourself surrounded by an amber light enveloping you in love compassion and protection let all unwanted thoughts and circumstances melt away and again spend time alone we've been seeing this for some time now quiet introspection is needed disconnect relax turn off your electronics just be and major life changes ahead change is constant and an opportunity for expansion regardless of its shape consider change a gift for your soul's evolution and this has really been about your soul um your person loves you and will be there for those in relationships for those of you just going through this transitional period a dark night of the soul many you know working on your mini resurrection to come back out this is just producing a lot of change and honestly i really do feel um a lot of positive change i don't feel bad change i feel like such a resolve it really is this liberation you know it's a freedom a new sense of freedom within your soul it's like your soul is going to have some it's so strong pisces i'm just like i'm just like uh I, it's, it's a feeling of like I'm really going to be I'm happy for you I don't know how to explain what I'm feeling but I'm just so happy for you and you're probably like oh my god Gina Bell what are you talking about like what do you mean you're happy I'm not feeling happy I, you will it's one of those things where you're gonna you're gonna feel so strong so strong in your mind and your soul um, alright Spirit is speaking extremely fast today for you, Pisces. Let's see. What is the guidance for Pisces? Lots of messages here for you today, Pisces. Lots of messages. So memories of love. Of course, this is to me the past. This has to do with the codependent. It's judgment day. And then, of course, throat chakra. So it is a judgment of the past and releasing. We do have conflict and defeat, five of swords. This is the mental conflict within yourself at the moment, probably. It's probably that space of void too, where you just have to let it be. Also the conversations with your person. So it just feels very conflicting at the moment. Stand your ground. This is the seven of wands. And yeah, I feel these energies together. I love that it's a seven and a nine, which to me is both spiritual journeys to self. This is um, nine of wands, minor arcana of the hermit. So spiritual strength, you're really having to, again, that mini resurrection, the optimism. Don't let the, don't let the energies take you down or really put you in this um, long-term state of despair because this is really a pass through I know it's it's a pass through. That's why spirit is saying everything's happening beneath the surface. Just let it be. We have five of pentacles. A lot of you probably had financial changes. That's why I feel like it's not just one thing. It's not. This is not. A lot of you are undergoing a lot of transitions internally, and it's a struggle within. Take it. Rest and rejuvenate. That's your time alone. Heartache and loss. Yes, you will experience that injustice. Balance will happen. It will happen, but it's not without the process and the journey. Because once, like, it's I feel this justice. I literally hear graduation. It's like it, it will balance itself out. These changes will help, and you it will ha it will turn out. And again, to me, this is that beneath the surface, and allowing it to be because it's balancing things out. So give him on this five of swords. King of Pentacles. So again, some of you financial changes, but this is um, a sense of feeling um, out of sorts and ungrounded. I'm feeling with the King of Pentacles, right? Because King of Pentacles is going to feel grounded, is going to have his mind right, his money right, and this this could be lots of earthly earthly plane um, situations that are bringing about change that bring the discomfort and again nine of wands for a lot of you you know it's that spiritual strength that's going to really exhaust you it's it's a it's a nine of wands is an exhaustion to the soul right so seven of wands stand that courage like don't let it get to you and more the seven of wands yeah 
hanged man. Work through it with the Eight of Pentacles. Work through it in the hanged man. Perception, perceiving it. Where did we see that? I want to make sure I give this reading as thorough as possible. Yes. So the hangman is understanding that void. There is a gap in time, space, or other perception during which things are working beneath the surface. Let it be. And things are working. Perception are working beneath the surface. So just try to find the optimism and gratitude, right? Gratitude within this space. Um, let's see this nine of wands. Five of Pentacles, which is right next to it. So this is a lot of um, abandonment, uh, scarcity mindset. There's so much coming up here. Wow. Um, you're fighting through the mind. And uh, some of it is, is old victim mentality. It really is a sense of freedom that's coming up from this. You're being aware of it right break the chains that's what this feels like the liberation break the chains of addiction other impediments or or um addictions restrictions or other impediments it begins with freedom of choice and this is like getting out of this mind space of scarcity it doesn't matter what it is it could be money it could be like belief system families things that you grew up but there's a sense of freedom of getting rid breaking this chain here of this five of pentacles that makes you constantly go into this space i i feel for some of you this was so unexpected give me one of this five of pentacles to like to have to come to again to revisit here on this five of pentacles yeah so again making you feel ungrounded so you're finding your way and there goes the queen of pentacles so now we have king and queen of pentacles i feel you're finding your way with the four of pentacles very strong four of pentacles we've got four of pentacles five of pentacles queen of pentacles and your conflict king of pentacles so again the needing to ground this is a space to ground here um and the grounding is necessary because again, if we let you be in your waters, Pisces, this is where the optimism, your emotions could let you just flow and it goes so deep into despair that you forget how to come back up. And, and spirit doesn't want you to forget how to come back up, right? This is why you have to practice the unconditional love to yourself. So um, in this space, you've it's, an, it's a grounding energy. Give me more on this rest and rejuvenate, which is what you're gonna need. This is why the disconnecting is necessary. This is why the spending time alone, quiet introspection, right? More of this perception and introspection as you work through it. Um, disconnect, relax, turn off your electronics and just be, it's just, it's kind of like, let it work through you. Uh, let's see this four of swords. Yeah, and you will come out of it. I love it. I know this is crazy energy to say it, but yeah, your rest of this nine of swords, two nines, because this is the self, just like I pointed out. I love that we're seeing the seven and the nine here because this is really the spiritual journey to self. So your strength here, you know, to finding this space is really grounding on more pentacles. The nine of pentacles is pre-empress energy. What do we have here? Ace of cups. You're filling your cup. This is your waters, but you have to ground for like that. Like you don't dive too deep into like these nine of swords where your mind can really drain your emotions. And I feel this is the self glove, the self care. You're getting yourself to be able to ground again and just feel like yourself. I feel like I know you, some of you don't feel like yourself. I'm going to pull for this ace of cups just to confirm. Um, give me more of this ace of cups. Wow. I mean talking about not feeling like yourself nine of swords again here pisces with the seven of swords so this is where you you can dive you're this is why i feel spirit needs you to kind of get into the earth energy i hope some of you have strong earth in your in your chart but if you don't this is a lot of grounding energy meditation time alone spending time in nature um because your waters need it if not you'll some of you will dive into this despair and you'll have like this negative self-talk 
and you don't want that to shape your emotions because it's not part of it. But at the same time, it's part of what you need to get through to get rid of what you're, what's being felt, you know? So let's see this heartache and loss, right? That's this three of swords energy. Whatever's being felt here and process. Give me more on three of swords. So we have three of swords, three of cups. Mm -hmm. Seven of wands in the bottom with another three, three of pentacles. So this is a lot of, um, this is energy obviously towards the memories of love here. So past energy, kindred spirits, family, friends. I don't feel like this is just one thing. Um, I also feel, so there's, there's a few things I'm picking up with this three of swords. There's this seven of wands energy where you have to work through the past heartache, you know, um, the connections of the past. Some of you, this is, and this is all of your connections, all of your karmic justice, all of your karmic lessons. I feel a lot of you, it's work related, your work environments, everywhere where you felt that someone took something from you, um, which is why we have these five of pentacles. It's this mindset. There's a mindset. I feel like I, I'm exactly, I hear feeling robbed. Um, give me more on this three of swords. Six of Swords wanted to come out. You know, on Three of Swords. Yeah, so feeling robbed. Ten of Pentacles. Some of you, it's financially. Um, I'm sorry. Eight of Swords with the Ten of Pentacles. Some of you, is financially. Some of you, is just the, the instability of situations. The lack of commitment from past energies. Some of you, it was a commitment fallout um, that's happened. <sighs> But again, uh, this has to do with the optimism, positive thinking and faith, right? Trust the situation calling you to have faith again about faith. And so we can't let the past kind of get in our heads because again, it, we blind ourselves of what's next. And I feel that this is a blockage to longevity, which is really the focus here. More pentacles the grounding and to get back into understanding what you your needs are for longevity so let's get for this justice wow okay so yeah look at this justice your strength is being tested here your willpower to get into your energy the high priestess look at this this is beautiful. I know it doesn't feel like it, Pisces, but the, the resolution and the balance that needs to come out from yourself and you intuitively know this is a space where your, your strength is being tested, your willpower is being tested, your mind is being tested, but leading you to this fool to get rid of the codependency, right? The devil energy within you, the shadow. And this is just shadow, Pisces. We don't we have to come to terms that the balance of the journey is really the light and the dark. And that's something we're, we're forever working through. And it's that mini, it's that um, mini resurrection that happens constantly, right? Where we, we go through the, the chaotic underworld and then we, we resurrect from them. And the reason there become so many is because there are quite a few of them, right? And we'll dive deep into that chaotic world to then free ourselves, to find a way spiritually, the test, right? The will to find ourselves to free. And that's where the karmic balance happens again. And so then things come back and, and now we're back into some karmic balance. And this is really, again, happening underneath spiritually within yourself. So intuitively, um, Where's that, that message, right? Yep, heightened awareness, that's you. That's this, this energy right here, heightened awareness. You're intu intuitively sensing something is shifting beneath the surface and you are right, you are right. It's, it's a balance that's happening and listen, Pisces, 
major arcana justice major arcana strength major arcana high priestess major arcana the fool major arcana the devil this isn't easy this is major <laughs> major everything's major spirit is saying major life changes major change is constant and an opportunity opportunity for expansion regardless of its shape consider change a gift for your soul's evolution major you really are evolving here all right so let's see um what some blockages are what are some blockages here for pisces So runner, someone is running from the truth. Here we can't no longer. Spirit doesn't want you to run from the truth anymore. This is literally face it. Face it head forward now. Maybe there's been some avoidance. Aware. Stop sweeping it under the rug. Like this is clear as day, right? Spirit is saying no more. This is something we, you, it's your time. Again, back to the graduation here. That's when we listen. The spirit says we're going to. We we gotta we gotta clear this and we've gotta do it and we gotta do it now, Pipes Pisces. And we can't sweep it under the rug. You postponed it. We let you postpone it. We let you kinda, you know, push it back, but that's it. Time is up. Right? Time is up for you, Pisces, in terms of postponing what needs to be dealt with. Because it's all leading to something good. Um, but it's a process. It really is. And it's not going to feel good for a while for some of you. Some of you may take weeks. Some of you may take months. I've been getting this six months period. So some of you, this might be your soul searching period, your winter and the seasons always happen. So this is your winter. So things will be better um, by spring. You'll see the results of, of this gain and you'll feel a lot more balanced. So we're going to pull some energies of abundance because I think it's important because I know this is leading you to a lot of um, how we perceive our mind and what, what it's holding back, what it's holding us back from. So let's see what's the guidance, abundance guidance for you, Pisces. Let's get a few of these for you. So it's something for everyone. Okay, so we have clearing debts yeah your self-care which is what's happening here involves removing the heavy burden of financial and emotional debts so you're not just experiencing i'm saying it's everything it's not just financially it's emotionally it's it's all these things that are kind of clearing from your life you already feel lighter and freer just by facing these this topic and making a plan to clear present obligations and avoid future ones as well this is definitely leading you to um a more stable life again the pentacles a more grounded it's grounding you again employment change your career path is leading you in a higher direction with positive changes to support your dreams priorities passions and life purpose trust that these changes will help you release and um release the old and welcome the new you are being supported each step of the way a lot of you are definitely being supported out of this may come out um you know your hobby becoming something bigger but there's a change that's happening and i think it's um the next level of your soul so your soul again is it's an it's an it's an opportunity of expansion and it's shifting you and some of you it may be something completely different than what you're currently doing detox your friendships Woo, yeah your abundance flow is being affected by the people with whom you're spending time. So be discerning about your associations and relationships. Choose to be with people who are inspiring, generous, and supportive. And then exercise to increase your energy and manifestation abilities. So all these are really great energies. The key to manifesting quickly is to have very high energy levels. A lot of the preservation, a lot of the self-care. Um, the easiest way to increase increase them is through physical exercise choose a fun and meaningful activity so that you'll look forward to exercising and it becomes its own reward so a lot of it is clearing your energy flow through exercise i feel this strongly um 
I feel this strongly here. I want to point out the bottom of the deck is savings. So as you consistently save for your future, your future is saved. You do your future a self, a self, your future self a big favor as you consistently set aside present funds. This is a part of your self-care and path to feeling secure as you focus upon your life purpose. I feel like what's happening is the journey to a lot of stability, again, savings, lots about employment change, um, grounding, a lot of pinnacles are here. So like financially priorities, like the way you perceive um, your self-care in terms of making sure you're prepared for anything. Maybe some of you fell into a situation where you feel like people, again, are robbing you. That's what I'm saying. Like You feel robbed. Some of you, it could have been an employment situation. Some of you must have had like a, an employment situation where you also feel robbed and just kind of like done, burnt out um, for some of you. But all major changes okay now i know this is supposed to be a love reading but clearly your soulmate is here and whatever's happening it's there's a lot of communication that's happening this is a person who needs to understand you as you're going through this process and again allow your heart and soul to sing with joy it's like um you gotta first take care of yourself so you can you know to feel the joy to enjoy your person right this is this is all something that you kind of have to kind of let it pan out. So spirit, give me more. Yeah. Oh my God. We talked about gratitude here. Yeah. That's, that's this energy we saw earlier with your perception, what you're working through the gratitude, say, thank you. Practice gratitude. Take one moment a day to think about the things and people you are grateful for in your life. When you have a grateful heart, this will multiply and more grateful blessings will be coming your way. Be thankful for what you already have. So confirmation there that gratitude is definitely something that needs to be you know in in your daily ritual it's always being grateful for the little things all right let's see what we've got here in celebration there are wonderful times ahead i know <laughs> it may not feel that way pisces but they are to see the light at the end of the tunnel is a sight worth celebrating. Take note on how it shines on you, okay, Pisces? It's that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. And it will be a ride and a road, but you will be celebrating. And again, gratitude is necessary in the process, I feel strongly. So in those moments of despair, just be grateful, okay? 